Stephen, two people are dead and three people are in critical condition after a mass shooting in South Baltimore. Police say there were 30 victims in total after shots were fired at a block party. WJZ's Alexis Davila tells us where people are being treated and how the community is reacting to this tragedy. Police say at least 30 people were injured after shots were fired at a block party on the 800 block on Gretna Court. Multiple 911 calls came in around 1230 Sunday morning and police found several victims with gunshot wounds. Two people are dead and three are critically injured. We located one female adult um, deceased on the scene. Nine additional victims were transported from the location to area hospitals. The University of Maryland Medical System says they treated 12 people in their shock trauma center. Four people were also treated at the pediatric emergency department. Some people woke up this morning to the news of the tragedy and were nearly speechless. Close to him. Uh, yeah, crazy. It's crazy. It's just getting worse and worse. Yeah doesn't make no sense. Yeah. Mayor Brandon Scott says the city will not rest until the victims' families are brought to justice. This was the reckless, cowardly act uh, that happened here and that has permanently uh, altered many lives and cost uh, two people their lives. As community members send their thoughts and prayers, they feel the city is unsafe. It's getting worse and worse in Baltimore. They need to, I don't know how they're going to fix it, but they need to fix it. No arrests have been made yet, but police are working to determine a suspect. We will not stop until we find you, and we will find you. Until then, I hope with every single breath that you take, that you think about the lives that you took, and you think about the lives that you impacted here tonight. Reporting, I'm Alexis Davila for CBS News Baltimore. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kwadash. And double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Shalom also to you other elder elders and brethren, even you through sisters, you followers and supporters of the ministry. And shalom to the hopeful elect. So anyway, I'm doing this video. Uh, brother, a couple brothers sent uh, these clips, but I, I kind of saw it anyway in the news. And um, it looks as though there's more gun violence, shootouts, mass murders, why people are even having cookouts. And you can't tell me that the Lord is not furious? You know they say they call us the so-called black Hebrew Israelites, so-called we're Hebrew Israelites, but they call us a hate group. They put us up as the, um, a hate group. We hate other nations. We hate people. We hate um, we hate Jesus, the Christ, you know, the white Jesus, by the way, the fake Jesus. You know, they say we have all this hate and so much rage and hate, but you've never seen us go out on the corners, stand there, pull out guns, and start shooting in the crowds. So that's just something to be said. Now, what we do hate is Amos 5 and 15 says, hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment, right? That's what we do hate. Now, our people will not hear. Uh, let me get, uh, what's it, Jeremiah 4 and 22 before I get back. You know, Jeremiah 4 and 22. It says, I, I can't find it. It says, my, my people are sadist children. I can quote it. My people are sadist children. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge right they they have no knowledge and that's our people you know when it comes to wearing what they want to wear you know when it comes to shooting off fireworks shooting guns you know in rap videos with the women the way they are they love it there's no hate there right there's no hate there. But see, this also goes back to feminism. You know, that's what it goes back to. Because you have these Eves 
who claim they're good parents, but they're not doing nothing, uh, uh, you know, for their sons, nor are they watching over them. And they're chasing the dollar. And see, these elites that fund the Black Lives Matter, we'll get into that in a second, they the ones set it all up and they put the face of the family on these three so-called black women with alternative lifestyles. So you can see the energy. That's why Ephesians 6 talk about put on the whole armor of the Most High. That white Jesus, we couldn't identify with. Black Lives Matter, they put that face up. As black men, so-called black men, in the uh, Israelites, you can't identify with that. So this is all sickness and madness and delusional. Exodus 22 and 24, and my wrath shall wax hot, and I will kill you with the sword, and your wives shall be widows, and your children fatherless. All right? You can't tell me this is not happening. You have you have prophecies that happen. And it's happening again. Your children are fatherless. Not only do the young men. Are running wild. So is Eve. They just. Their attire. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. What's happening. Right in front of. Our faces. But this is the power. Of the heavenly father man. He said he was going to do it. Right, Isaiah 55 says um, his word should not return to him void when he says he's going to do it he's going to do it and he's doing it and he's making it out of a, a you know and Babylon is a big joke black lives matter only matters when a white cop so called kills you with injustice but genocide there's no need to march for genocide in other words hold the white person accountable right which they have been known this is their their mindset killing Jake but you as parents haven't raised your children up to learn how to deal with those situations cop wants you to get out and show you a license you sit there and argue with a cop a man that has a, the right to shoot your ass and get some 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 leave paid leave and shoot him into another department same thing they did with those Catholic priests. Same thing they did with those um, uh, um, those people that molested all those the Boy Scouts. Them fathers was so-called uh, leader fathers was molesting those children, and then they would send them to another parishioner or another another campsite just so they could do it all over again. They having their way with the children of Israel. But Ecclesiastes 3.15 says, The Lord requires that which is past. And my wrath is waxing hot. And the children shall be fatherless. Um, when you look up this word, um, fatherless, let me see um, what it says. H3490. Let's see what it says. It says basically an orphan fatherless in the Strong's root meaning to be lonely, bereaved person, fatherless child, right? So even so, even in this society, you got these people who got so-called fathers, these daughters, those so-called fathers, and the the the. Um, the uh, fathers today are bewitched into believing philosophies Colossians 2 and 8 so you have to come into the truth to have a true parent to teach you to understand what the hell is going on but you do have a father but you know what they do they bad mouth the father get him out of the home this was all a devised plan now once he out of there we can put BET and hip hop Work the woman. Make her work hard. These are all divine plans, man. Devised plans. It says Black Lives Matter is running nearly $9 million deficit while funneling millions to companies with close ties to the nonprofit. Say, even in the face of Black Lives Matter, which they use three black women 
with alternative lifestyles, not men, the leaders of the nation, women. So now you can see the example of why we're doing this video with the young men running up, shooting into the crowds and just shooting every damn body. No accountability, right? Now I guarantee you if they start holding the mothers accountable for their children killing and shooting, oh, things would change real quick, but why would they want to do that? Why would they want to do that? Jeremiah 5 and um, I'm going to say 21. Hear now this, O foolish people, right? And without understanding um, which have eyes and see not which have ears and hear not. Fear ye, fear ye not me, saith the Lord. Will ye not tremble at my presence? Yeah, see, the Lord, there's going to be a day of the Lord, right? And the day of the Lord is not going to be bright, as the scriptures say, I believe, in Thessalonians. The day of the Lord is his judgment. And rightfully so. Rightfully so. Which have placed the sand of the bounds of the sea by the perpetual degree. All right? Let me go to 23. But this people have a revolting and rebellious heart. Uh, they are revolted and gone. So the more we start going out there teaching against this, against the, the drug dealing, the gang banging, the bloods and the crips, the more they're going to hate us. You have a people that have been spoiled so long, they don't want to get away from their spoil. They want to continue in the wickedness. Because the thing about being spoiled, you're getting away with things. So the thrill of getting away will continue to do wicked wickedness, right? Increases your desire to continue more in your wickedness, right? That's what happens. That's why they do it. You know, if 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 a child was allowed to go and get cake without the parent watching him, that is glorious to him that he's able to do something and get away with it, right? But if the parent gave the child the cake on their own, they'll still enjoy it, but it's nothing more enjoying it by, by doing it while the parent is asleep and they could sneak and cut the pieces and eat it and make themselves sick. And that's what our people are doing. They wait till their mama's gone to work, these young men, and they wait to eat the bread of wickedness, the bread of violence. They can't wait to get up the next morning and cause more mischief. You know? Let's go to Job 34 and 29. When he giveth quietness, who then can make trouble? So who can make trouble when the Lord give quietness? That's the key. Nobody. And when he hideth his face, then who can behold him? So that's what he's done to the children of Israel. He said, okay, you want to follow mother gods? You want to follow them? You want to be like them? Okay, now they're your God. But the elect is waking up and say, no, we don't accept that God. We don't believe in that God. We will perish for this truth if that's what it takes. We will perish for the truth if that's what it takes. It goes on to say, let me see. It goes on to say, um, whether it be done against a nation or against a man only, right? And we know the nation that is responsible for destroying our nation, right? We know the nation that's responsible for that. And Ecclesiastes 3.15 says, the Lord require of that, Yahweh require of that which is past. You've got away with destroying the children of Israel through your philosophies, through your so-called peace and love. And the whole time you never really uh, held any kind of peace and love. You just use that in a manner of controlling. See, you got to make the people believe that they're in their, in their right mindset or they're on a path of glory. Or make them believe that they can head to the path of glory. And this is what you see, man. Everything is out of order. Parenting, the so-called schools, right? The food, the air. I mean, we can list multiple things that's out of order in this society. The families, number one. Well, number one is our heritage, Jeremiah 17 and 4. It says, thou shalt discontinue from thine heritage. 
right? You had your evil, wicked hand in doing that too, right? So there's a lot to pay for. But as far as these Jakes, they're, they're fatherless. And the Most High got something for them. They, they, need, they need to be put out their miseries. And that's all they're doing now, you know? A, a uh, spiritual extermination. Anyway, for you black conscience, black lives, black conscience, black Christians, you all play a hand in that. Why you saying that on you black conscience Negroes? Why you ain't marching for the bull, the bull crap that's happening to our people? Only thing you're talking about is uplifting black woman and talking about Marcus Garvey, who, by the way, was a Roman Catholic. <laughs> that's where you get all that from. That's all I have on that, Shalom.